Welcome back. In today's video, I am going to show you a document manager grid web application which have two basic main roles, the uh, admin user role and the user role. The admin can have a company, is have a company, company A and the user have a company B. What exactly this company means? So I will show you the uh, step by step all the features. Okay. So you will see here, this is our admin login right now. And here are uh, the button new document. When I press on this new document, you will see here the document ID, the document name, the document issue date, due date, and a file upload. Okay, that's fine for with us. So you can see here ID, document name, issue date, due date, attachment. So this company and uploader, uh, these two extra columns in our database, in our data tables, but from where it comes because in our new document it's not available but from where its data comes uh, let me explain you uh, you will see here first of all i am currently logged as this user right i am logged as a admin as you can see in my database but so it's a common sense uploader uploader means who upload this data okay so i am logging this data and when i click on this new document so this data is submitted by this user so this will be the uploader of this particular data submission okay that's we can understand uh sir but the company how company comes so as you can see in our login sheet the admin have this company so whenever admin is uploading data its company name automatically comes here like this company a you can see here uh, this admin company a this admin company a because this admin can only upload data with this company but can able to see all the users data as well okay uh so uh we don't understand let we let me show us the example okay i will show you the example i just enter three two three two and the document name is john okay john and the issue date will be the 15 and the due date will be the 20 okay that's fine I just click on this and upload any kind of file and click on this open and click on upload document. When I click on this upload document, so now you can able to see your data is 100% uploaded but it will be saved in our Google Drive and Google Sheet. So document added successfully, okay. The document added is going to be successfully. Okay, as you see here, we have added this data. So if you wanna update this data, you can see here the company A is automatically comes and the uploader is currently logging the admin. Okay. So if what happened if I want to edit this data, I can edit this data with this John Doy and add 3232 here. And uh, this is the current file. If you want to replace a file, you can also replace file and select another file and click on this open. Uh, select another file and click on this open and update the document. When you click on this update the document the file will be saved in your google drive in your google drive and it will update your data successfully so right now you can able to see the data is going to be successfully updated okay the data is going to be successfully updated. as you can see here the data is going to be successfully added in our google drive folder this is the google drive folder id you need to paste in your code.js this how you can find create a folder for example you create a folder in your google drive like this and give him a name what you want for what you want to give him a name and when you open this folder you will see this folder id make sure you post the on folder id not mine okay so what happened if you want to delete this data you can simply click on this delete and click on this yes delete when you click on this yes delete it so now you can able to see the data is going to be successfully deleted from our database itself okay okay so this is a filter process you can filter easily data uh, all companies so how these companies will come in the drop down and from where we can add it you don't need to add it this will automatically comes how this comes for example uh, you will create a user 3 you will create a user 3 okay the same with the user and uh, the, it will be the user and you will give him a name company C okay company C you will give him a name company C and right now you can able to see user 3 is created successfully 
so this is the company and we have the two drop downs right now here okay if i click on this company one and click on this filter i can only able to see the company one but how the company three is come so let me explain you this also in step by step you just open this uh, the link in the new bar and uh, copy this username and paste it here and paste it here and click on this authenticate when you click on this authenticate so it will be the user no data uploaded yet because we have created one so how the data comes no chance i just click on this new document and uh, enter one one and uh, this will be the here and uh, this will be the here and uh, this will be the here and the document file is this and click on this open and click on this upload document when i click on this upload document so now you can able to see the document is going to be processed 100% and it will be up the data added successfully in our database so right now you can able to see the data is going to be successfully added i just refresh this column when i refresh this column and click on this login credentials and authenticate so now you can able to see i am successfully logged the company c is automatically comes in the drop down so if you found a uh, company names here it will automatically come here when you click on this filter so now you can able to see the company c data is successfully come filtered okay what happen if you need to filter out the data with a particular dates you can simply select the dates and uh, press the filter when you click on this filter you will see here that particular date range data in front of you you can also select 10 25 if you have large amount of data so you can also select this so hope so you like this video you like this concept and make sure you subscribe our channel for subscription uh, you can go to our youtube.com and uh, just search here Muhammad Rami and uh, just search here and uh, just search here Muhammad Rami's in that and uh, search here and subscribe this channel and press the bell icon so whenever I upload any kind of video you will be notified first of all first of all okay so make sure you like you subscribe your comment must and uh, if possible you can add your project suggestions in the uh, comment box definitely we will create that okay take care thank you very much and uh, hope so you like that